Hi everyone. Uh, in today's video, we are going to demonstrate a new uh, script converter tool released uh, recently by BlazeMeter. If you're not familiar with BlazeMeter, BlazeMeter is a, um, a SaaS platform for load and performance testing. Um, and BlazeMeter has recently just uh, released a, a converter um, where you can convert load runner scripts to open source Apache JMeter. You can probably see on the screen here that you can also convert uh, true client to Selenium as well, but we're not going to touch on that in today's video. Stay tuned. We might do one uh, in the future. Um, the free script converter can convert load runner HTTP scripts to JMeter. Please note that as of the current JMeter version 3.2, you'll be able to convert the test uh, assuming only HTTP uh, or HTTPS protocol and derivatives. In load runner terms, they are um, web HTTP and HTML and web services. Now, um, I just want to say before we start, this is very much a totally free tool and open to the public. Uh, you can play with it at any time at this um, address here, shift left blazemeter.com. That said, to use the tool, you will need to have um, a BlazeMeter account. Now, you can just use a free version of the BlazeMeter account, which you can get at any time at www.blazemeter.com. Um, the account is totally free, um, or you can, you know, you can use it with the paid uh, trial as well. Um, the, the paid tier accounts, but uh, you can very much use this tool with the uh, free tier accounts as well. Um, if you do not have a BlazeMeter account, it, the, before the conversion, um, you'll be prompted just to fill out an email, um, to put in your email, which will create an account for you. Um, if you already have a BlazeMeter account and you're logged in, uh, you won't be prompted at all, and the converter will just work um, uh, seamlessly. So uh, once you've gone to shift left, .blazeminer.com. Uh, if you're a load runner user, you likely have a directory which contains all of your scripts, and each script will have a directory of its own. So in order to convert, the first thing you need to do uh, is compress your HTTP script uh, directory to a zip file, and then upload the zip file to the converter. I've done this already, and um, I'm going to just show you, and I'm going to then, um, I have a file here called test case 01, it's in a zip file, and then I'm going to upload it to the converter. By the way, test case 01, in this case, I just want to let you know, is a valid test for load runner. I'm simply going to drag and drop here. Okay. So because I'm logged into Blazemin, I didn't have to put in an email address, but if you don't have a Blazemin account, that's when that's the point where you'll be asked to fill one in, uh, your email address. So let this conversion tool take it from here. You can see it's uh, converting. Now, um, at the end of the script conversion, you'll see two things. Um, on the left, you'll see what the percentage of the script that we were able to convert, which in this case is 93%, which is most of the script. Uh, as well, on the right, uh, the functions that we were not able to convert. In this case, uh, web concurrent start, which you can see here, that is a load runner ability to create multiple HTTP requests at the same time, something that's not currently available with JMeter. That said, no biggie. Again, most of the script has been converted. Um, and what you want to do now is um, once the script conversion is complete, click on download from BlazeMeter. You'll also get an email once you once the script conversion is complete um, to your email, uh, and you can download from that email as well. But let's just do it from here. Download from BlazeMeter, and um, here on the right hand side in the configuration preview, you'll see um, a. Uh, YAML representation of the script. Uh, you can see all the various elements, okay, if you scroll down. Um, and then you want to download the compressed zip file on the left in order to continue. Okay, I've just done that. 
And then what you want to do, once you've downloaded and compressed the zip file, is you want to open the downloaded file. And then when you open it, you will see You'll see a file here, a folder here called Your JMeter or Selenium Scripts. And then copy the JMX file, which is request.jmx, onto your computer. So I'm just going to move this into my documents. Okay? And now you want to open the JMX file in JMeter. Now I'm assuming all of you have installed JMeter, but if you haven't, please do so. But I'm going to open JMeter, okay? Um, and I want to open the JMX file in JMeter, which I do simply by clicking on File and Open. And as I said, it's in my documents. And you can see here, requests.jmx. So if I double click on that, that's it. You can see now uh, the name thread group. Um, and number of thread is one. Basically, you can see the script on the screen. Um, you can uh, see here in the thread group, you can see if you would want to look at it, you can see the cache and the cookies and the DNS cache manager and the fault and the loop controller, everything that's there. Um, you can adjust the script if you need to and run it. Uh, it's really as simple as that. Um, so I've showed you now how to convert a basic load runner script to um, open source JMeter. Okay. Now I just want to um, basically, if you click on the the link there, you can start converting. Again, the 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 URL is shiftleft.blazemeter.com. We also have created an email, a support email, if you have any questions or are facing any problems. That's at shiftleft@blazemeter.com. Uh, that is it. So just make sure again you need just need a BlazeMeter account. If not, you can create one during the course of the conversion. You'll simply just be asked to put in your email. This is a completely free tool. Hope you guys find it valuable. Let us know in the feedback in the comment section uh, your feedback. Um, and happy testing. Thanks, guys.